did some research and the zucchinis that rot on the vine um, it can be a lack of calcium, not getting enough pollination. And I think in this case it might be that reason because we haven't had as many pollinators around as we normally do a lot of times. Uh, now on the lantana up front, we have a lot of bumblebees. Now if they would only come back here and start dealing with this, it'd be great. That's why you gotta open it up. Because if it gets too... too shaded, it will not do well. And we got some new zucchinis and some new buds on this plant. We just gotta make sure that we take good care of it. Also, I've got a jalapeno growing back here, two of them. But they're so shaded by the zucchini leaves that I have to make sure I cut a lot of the zucchini leaves away from the, the jalapenos because then they won't grow. The male flower here, you have to have pollination from the male flower to a female flower in order to get your zucchini. If they're not getting pollinated, cross-pollination, then they're not gonna grow. The female produces the fruit and the male is just a flower. So if you see a zucchini growing, the flower on the end of it is the female. We have some over there, but I don't see any over here. All I see over here is male. This is a male flower. You can see on the back, there is no fruit growing on it. There was a zucchini growing, and that was a female flower. And as the zucchini grows, the flower will dry and drop off. There's several here trying to start. Yeah. If they'll open up and get pollinated. Yeah. There's three or four right there. See how much more open and you can start to see the flowers in here. Oh, that one broke off. Lost a flower. Murderer. Didn't mean to. Murderer. It's not getting enough sunlight and enough air. You won't have good fruit. Another thing that we've learned is that it will start to develop like a mold or a mildew if it doesn't have enough sunlight for that and it gets too moist underneath. We have opened it up a lot and that will help. The pollinators will be able to get in there, the bees. We've also had a lot of hummingbird moths recently, butterflies, hummingbirds, you name it. They're all good for pollinating. So we should, here pretty quick, have us some more zucchini.